Bob Movie Review on Women on Black Now. And I'm Monica Vitorma. And this week we have several movies we're going to talk about, so let's get started. The first big movie, of course, is Kidnap, and of course it stars Holly Berry. And what takes place in this movie is she's at a park, and a sign is playing, and they have these key words, Marco Polo, to kind of pretty much keep each other in line and, and know where each other would be. But the thing about this movie is interesting. Holly Berry, when the sun come up missing, and she can't get in touch with the police or they're moving too slow, and then also she lose all contact with her cell phone, she takes matters in her own hand. What do you think about the movie? I think um, when you leave the theater, be careful because if you're like kind of a girl like me and watches or plays video games like Grand Theft Auto, that's how I was kind of feeling the experience I was feeling when watching the movie. I felt like when I got out, for some reason, I was driving a little off. Yeah, and you know, the interesting thing about this movie, because there's a lot of action in it, and I, I'm curious because with this movie, Holly Berry, she's versatile, and she can play different roles, but she gets so serious into her roles that you wonder if she really liked that. Do you pretty much agree with That's that? That's true, you know. Didn't she get in trouble one time for running over somebody? Uh, I, I can see that definitely happen. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the trailer, come back and talk to you a little bit more about Kidnap. Let's play games. the wrong kid. Also the thing about this movie is interesting. I found interesting that she left the kid at a park bench while she was on the phone talking, but she was walking all the way. And I found that to be strange that a, a mother would do that. But the other thing about this movie and, and Holly Berry in general with guys, I'm gonna admit something to guys out there. Holly Berry is beautiful, mm -hmm. but the weird thing about it is guys think she's crazy. Mm -hmm. So even though we may want to and she's cute, and we may want to uh, really date her or something, but there's there's a fine line between her, she plays her movies so well, that is she really like that in true life? Yeah, she might be, but I think a little crazy is not bad. I also think guys are kind of attracted to crazy, so. Well, I think it could be, that could be true on that, that's for sure. But I definitely give this a thumbs up. There's a lot of action in it, but I, I think I still give it a thumbs up. For sure. Right, the next movie we're going to be talking about is the movie Annabelle, and this Annabelle creation, and this movie is the backstory to basically the Annabelle doll that we see in The Conjuring. So this story actually starts out with the family, the um, Mullins, who have a daughter who died in a tragic accident, but it says if she never really left. What did you feel about that? Well, you know, this is funny. The movie, first of all, is going to do well. Mm -hmm. It's going to make a lot of money. And actually, you know, for a scary movie that generally is geared towards high school students, I still kind of like it, but it was funny to me. And that's what's interesting about this movie. It's supposed to be scary, but it, it became funny to me. And I remember so clearly growing up, my sisters had some huge dolls. Mm -hmm. And just to recreate that coming back was just interesting. And the other thing about this movie is it always seemed that is a white family who get caught up 
in situations where we will be gone. Yeah. The moment that the devil come out or something spirit come out of it, we're gone. Yeah. And it's interesting how different races they like to uh, investigate, <laughs> walk right up to the door and find out what's what's scratching on the door and so forth. Mm -hmm. But let's take a look at trailer and we'll talk a little bit more about the big movie Annabelle. This is our new orphanage. It's as big as a castle. Feel free to use the house as you see fit. Mrs. Mullins and I stay down here. Your rooms are upstairs. Locked. And it stays that way. Hello? You're the moon's daughter, aren't you? Can you help me? What do you need? Janice says she's seen your daughter. My daughter has been dead for a very long time. She was taken from us at an early age. We prayed to see our beloved girl again. The contact started small. But then it wanted permission to move into a doll so that it could be with us forever. We said yes. It's because I'm the weakest. It's the doll. The devil. Annabelle? Now we have a chance to see the trailer. This is interesting, I'm gonna let you go first because I wanna see what you thought about this movie. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I like, well, yeah, I'm giving it a thumbs up too. I like um, when scary movies, because I'm the same way, I laugh through a scary movie oftentimes, especially if it's really cheesy. This one I actually didn't find myself laughing at so much. I actually am one of those people too that likes to research to freak myself out even more, like sure. what the backstory really was. Exactly. And it's interesting when we're, um, they actually have these artifacts, like mm -hmm. the, that Annabelle doll really somewhere in Connecticut, it's like a mm. museum, and you can go to, and there's a whole bunch of objects they have that were conduits that people used to exactly. hold spirits in, exactly. and you can kind of like look through the museum and go there. Would and you see, do it? And that's the thing, because I would go there, it's kind of like the Ouija board. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like the, you're asking for it. But again, I still have to give this movie a thumbs up for some reason. Yeah. It's still worth seeing, uh, but you know, there's some supposed to be scary parts, the funniest part, but it's, it's I think it's still worth going to see. I have to give it a thumbs up also. Okay. What we're going to do at this time, we're going to take a commercial break. You're going to see how to reach us, how to contact us. At the end of the show, we're going to leave you a phone number where you can get free movie passes. But what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and I'll see you in two and two. Be sure and join our Quad Movie Review Club for only $9.99 and get the latest discounts on travel, music, and events. For all of your hotel and travel needs, go to TravelHookMeUp.com. Or contact Wilmer Blacknall Jr. at the number below.
Should I just settle forever? Ooh, I swear it feels like this is as good as it gets. Hi, my name is Courtney Hall, founder of Feel the Beat Dance Company, and you're watching the Quad Movie Review. Hola, soy Monica Consuelo Zavala, y estamos mirando the Quad Movie Review. Another hot summer has arrived, and your air conditioner is not cooling properly. Well, we have the solution. We here at Allen Air LLC have over 20 years of experience, and we've took the initiative to send our technicians to school to learn the most up-to-date information about all of your cooling needs. Our staff have worked with everything that's out there, so rest assured that we have the knowledge to service even the toughest units. Call Allen Air today for a special $49.99 air conditioned tune -up. The number is 214-607-7767. And remember, keeping you cool is our goal. Hi, I'm Teresa McKinnon. The Quad Movie Review is filmed here live at Fascination Studios. Check us out on Fascination.com. Hey, yo, this is Ice Cube, and you're watching The Quad. Why is it important for you to be on the grand jury? Hi, I'm Sharita Blacknall, an attorney in Dallas, Texas, and this is The Legal Break. A grand jury is tasked with deciding whether or not there's probable cause for a felony arrest to turn into an official case through indictment. The prosecutor will present the grand jury with the facts that they believe amount to probable cause. Then the grand jurors will decide whether or not they agree. If they agree, then the case is indicted and becomes an official case. It's important to have diversity when these decisions are being made because these cases don't move forward unless everybody agrees. You need to have diversity of race, gender, sexual orientation, education, as well as socioeconomic backgrounds in order for those facts to be tested and debated. If you don't have this testing and debating and you have a homogenous group, then this group will just get together and vote and agree without testing the facts or debating the facts. And this makes it where it's highly likely that most cases will be indicted. If you have questions about this, and any other legal matters, please contact my office to schedule a consultation. And now, back to the Quad Movie Review. Now you had a chance to see how it reaches, and uh, I guarantee you the interesting thing about this show is we have so many movies up in the fall, uh, and, and they're gonna be coming up in September, October. It, this is gonna be a great season for movies because, of course, the better movies are gonna come out because they wanna win an Oscar, so we got big things coming for sure. Uh, the next movie is, uh, and I, I did this because I, you know, I'm sensitive to kids, but it's called The Nut Job 2. And of course, what takes place with this movie is this is about a squirrel who joins up with other squirrels and find out that the mayor of Oakton is trying to get rid of and bulldoze the area that they pretty much hang out. Before I get too much into this movie, what did you think about it? I liked hearing Jackie Chan's voice, and yes. that's about it. <laughs> There's really nothing to this movie that I thought was. Um, you know, different or, you know, that stood out. I just felt that, um, I know I hadn't seen the original Nut Job. I don't know if it was as bad, but mm -hmm. it just was very lackluster mm -hmm. film to me. I don't even think kids would really, you know, care too much for it. Sure, I totally agree with you. And the thing about this movie is interesting. I cannot get the age bracket that would enjoy this movie, but I didn't like the movie at all either. But uh, still, what ages would you, what, what's the ages for kids that would go see this movie? Maybe up to 10. Okay. And then at the end of that, it might be that. cheesy. There's nothing really okay. amazing about this one. I think you're correct. What we're going to do, we're going to take a quick look at the trailer and come back. We're going to talk a little bit more about a kid's movie, The Nut Jobs 2. Cannonball! You the man, Sally! If you'll excuse me, i got to get back to slacking off. Precious, we talked about this. It's hard to respect your personal space when it tastes like peanut butter. Look at all of you, lazy and spoiled and fat. Take it easy, Andy. It's not like the nut shop's gonna explode. Oh no! The peanut butter was in there! <sighs> what are we going to do, Surly? I'll find a new place, even better than the nut shop. Yeah! 
pretty as a picture. It's perfect. Liberty Park generates zero profit. I got bigger plants and trees. An amusement park! They're gonna destroy the park. It's a fat guy with a tiny shovel. How much damage can he do? Oh, I get it. Tiny shovel was a symbolic gesture. We're all gonna die! Do something crazy! This park gets worth fighting for. I got this. Let's see you drive now! I'm good. But you guys get the next one. The thing about this movie, I'm definitely gonna give it a thumbs down. We, we still enjoy doing kids' movies, and there are some good kids' movies out there, but it was very tough for me to sit through this movie. Yes, that's yeah. another thing. I was yeah. thinking about everything else in the world during that's right. watching this. And the thing about it is so interesting, because I was thinking about something, too. I'm like, I got a roast in the oven, something <laughs> cooking. My mind was just going everywhere, so I, I, I definitely have to agree with you. What we're going to do, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, Monica is going to be reviewing the DVD for the week, and then we're going to have the music spotlight. We'll see you shortly. For all of your hotel and travel needs, go to TravelHookMeUp.com or contact Wilmer Blacknall Jr. at the number below. Hi, my name is Courtney Hall, founder of Feel the Beat Dance Company, and you're watching The Quad Movie Review. Drive. Drive, 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 drive. Young money, young money. Loving a thousand different flavors I wish that I could taste them all night No, I ain't got no dinner plans So you should bring all your friends I swear that to all of y'all my time Shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Drink, swalla, la, la. Drink, swalla, la, la. Swalla, la, la. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Drink, swalla, la, la. Drink, swalla, la, la. Hi, I'm Teresa McKinnon. The Quad Movie Review is filmed here live at Fascination Studios. Check us out on Fascination.com. Am I wrong for wanting better? Should I just settle forever? Oh, I swear it feels like this is as good as it gets. Hello, this is Viviana. The Quad Movie Review is produced here at Fascination Studios. Fascination Studios. Hi, what's up? This is Tisha Campbell Martin. Fascination Studios. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your man Dave Hollis of the Ghetto Preacher Fascination Studios. Hey, right, it's your man Fred Hammond. Fascination Studio. Hi, this is Robert Townsend. Fascination Studios. Hi, my name is Monica Vitorma, and I'm back with your hot new releases. Today, we'll be talking about the movie Snatched. Emily Middleton has just been dumped by her boyfriend just days before her vacation. So, who better to go on vacation with than your mom? Both of them end up going on vacation together to South America, but things start spiraling out of control, and her and her mother, who are complete opposites, get stuck in a jungle of crazy that they have to figure out how to get out of. I'm going to let you know what I felt about the movie Snatched after the trailer. Here's to nothing getting in the way of our adventure. Emily, I can't go to South America. Wait, wait what? Also, I'm breaking up with you. When? Like, right now. 
This is it. You're in the middle of it. You don't want to lose no, this. No, I don't. No, just stop. Let's run, 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 run away. You poor thing. You look awful. Thank you. We'll get through this. This is a long hug. Okay. All right. Okay. Mom, look how fun you were. Pack your bags. We're going to South America. Absolutely not. Everybody knows you need two years to plan a vacation. You don't do anything fun anymore. That's not true. I've been taking sculpting lessons at the Y. Ta-da! I told you I would not acknowledge that. That is frightening, and you made that. Okay. Here, put this on. What is this? A rape whistle. This is a dog whistle, Mom. Are you afraid I'm going to get raped by dogs? Oh, my God! It works. Why are you dressed like a beekeeper? Sun is dangerous. Mom, you, you put you to get so much on. on. You put so much eye. on. We're going out. Right I'm now. definitely not. You're going to miss this whole trip. Everything shouldn't be so scary. What I need is an amazing adventure. Do you mind if I join you? Hey, that dude is uh, talking to you. Mind if I join you? Uh, not you. It was me. Can you kind of beat it? Because you're a distraction. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Club on my Where the hell are we? The scenic route. Oh my god, we have Liam Neeson taken! Oh. I'm gonna get us out of this. I don't know, man, he can take care of you. That's how sex slavery starts. Okay, mom. Those people want young, beautiful females. Just to be safe, I should maybe go kind of hide in the jungle. No, 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 your poofy face will protect you. I have some angles that would like really surprise you. Like, what? Sitting on the phone. Snatched was actually kind of funny. Wanda Sykes, Amy Schum Schumer, and Goldie Hawn were all found in this movie and much more. But still, they could not save how dry this film really was. I felt that all three, even though they had a lot of great talent, weren't able to save this film. This film had a lot of potential, but there is so much they could do more with it. Um, for one, I would love to see Wanda more. Um, I felt that the only thing that saved this was Amy Schumer's naturally goofy personality, and the mother-daughter relationship that Amy and Goldie played was also spectacular. So I'm going to actually give this film a thumbs up, but with that being said, I'm going to say red box it, because it's definitely not a classic. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we return, we're going to have more movie reviews with Mr. Wilmer Blacknell Jr., so stay tuned. Want to advertise with the Quad Movie Review and reach over 500,000 viewers? Contact us at the number below. Hi, I'm Jordan Cotton, and it's time for our music spotlight. Let's see what's hot in music. So go and get to clapping. Go pop a four pan, pop, pop it for me. Turn around and drop it for a pan. Drop, drop it for me. I rent a beach house in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. Lobster tail for dinner. Julio served that scampi. You got it if you want it. Got, got it if you want it. Said you got it if you want it. Take my wallet if you want it now. Jump in the Cadillac. Girl, let's put some miles on it. Anything you want, just to put a smile on it. You deserve it, baby. You deserve it all. And I'm gonna give it to you. Gold jewelry shining so bright. Strawberry champagne on us. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Set by the fire. Say the word and we go Say You can be my flicka Girl, I'll be a flicko, mama sister I will never make a promise that I can't keep I promise that your smile ain't gonna never leave Shopping sprees in Paris Everything 24 carats Let me take a look in that mirror Now tell me who's the fairest Is it you? Is it you? Is it me? Is it me? You say it's us Say it's us And I'll agree That's what I 
several good movies coming up, so I'm pretty much looking forward to it. With that in mind, I'm Wilma Black now. And I'm Monica Batorma. And we'll see you at the movies. Have a good night. Is there no one else? Is there no one else? Who are you, soldier? False I'll remember the name.